Wow, this is such an underrated city. Such a huge bucket list item that we're about to see. Okay, no, now you look extra. Guys, we just made it to Leblanc's. Leblanc's? Leblanc. Next stop, Zagreb! Newspapers are calling it the Beast from the East. The Beast from the East. Freezing weather front sweeping in from Russia this week, and it's set to bring temperatures lower than the Arctic. Good morning guys! Last time you saw us we were on a train and uh, I'm not too sure if we told you where we were going. We're currently in Zagreb in Croatia and we just woke up and got ready and I have a feeling there might be some sort of like cold snap happening because in all the other countries that we've been to so far it has been around like one degree sometimes it goes down to zero which was fine to handle but today for some reason when we woke up it was negative nine it's gone down to negative seven it is, Wait, is it so gone down how does that work i don't know how you word it but it's currently negative seven degrees and it's nine o'clock in the morning and i've just been waiting for it to warm up and it's not warming up guys i feel like it's going to be a really cold day but i thought i'll show you our view so this is your little first sneak peek of zagreb and ours as well because we arrived at night but um, behind the veil is zagreb <laughs> yeah it's right on this oh my gosh it's so cold oh can you actually open it yeah oh you're gonna break the door oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like broken up there. <gasps> I always broke the window. <laughs> yeah, leave that. We won't touch that. Don't touch it. Okay, come around here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I'd shown you guys. I literally almost ripped this window off. It is so cold today. Wow, today's going to be a struggle, Oh my guys. gosh, it's so weird because last time in Croatia it was so hot. But guys, oh, it's so cold. There's like snow right here. Eh. Yeah, I see. But anyway, this is Zagreb, so we're currently on like this big square. Is it Zagreb or Zagreb? Oh, Zagreb, Zagreb, I don't know, but it is. <sighs> it is so cold. Oh my gosh. I feel like today I'm gonna have to wear like all the clothes I brought with me. That scene from Friends. I'm wearing everything you own. <laughs> I'm gonna wear everything I own right now. It is freezing, but we only have one day here. So we need to go out now because we're gonna waste time. So, uh, all right, let's rug up. Oh my gosh. Kind of is There's like Canada. There's too many layers. Ugh. Am what? I even going to be able to do this up? I have way too many jumpers underneath this jumper right now. We're ready to party. I literally feel like if someone pushed me over right now, I wouldn't feel a thing. Yeah. I've got too many layers on. But when I go outside, I'm going to have not enough layers on. Okay, we can explore the grid. Both agree. Oh, there's the go. Woo! Actually, no, this is a good amount of layers. Yeah, actually, I don't feel too bad. Oh, except for my face covered. Bobby, remember the last time? Actually, the last time we were in Croatia was our first honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> we are so extra. So extra, and we were jumping into water. That oh, is the it was last such thing. such lovely weather as well. Mm. This has pretty much been us for the entire week. Oh, but this is like the first day where I'm like, I kind of feel like a little bit of summer. Wow, I didn't expect there to be a train in the middle of the square. Holy cow, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Gradska Square. As you can see, there's some like nice coloured buildings just here. And then our room is just up there. We're staying, oh yeah, we're staying in a place called Hotel Dubrovnik. Super we're confusing not, name. We're not in Dubrovnik, we're in Zagreb, but we are in Croatia and Dubrovnik's in Croatia. Thanks for that. Solve that riddle. Chill and negative billion. <laughs> negative billion. Why? I never knew Croatia snow. I what neither. Is this? <laughs> but you know what? We can't complain because today's one of the first days. Can't blue. complain. We this entire skies. vlog has started with us complaining. But we have blue skies. Oh yeah. That like that's good. been a while since we've had blue skies. Ah, uh, this is what I remember about Croatia having the little cute alleyways. This is my favorite thing about Europe. Cute alleyways. Wow. An icy floor. I want to get this for Cleo. That is so Cleo. <laughs> 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 the best. 
Guys, first stop on the uh, Zagreb tour is this cathedral. It's actually huge. It's so pretty. Yeah. This is one of the biggest ones we've ever seen. That is huge. I wonder if there's a service on. Yeah, it could be. Cool. There's a service on though, but it's kind of interesting oh, cool to see. Seeing the, how cool was the singing? Yeah, sure, it's really beautiful to go and explore it, but yeah, it's Sunday, Sunday church. Alrighty, guys, so we've come down to to Kalkika, I think that's what it's called. It's a street, and I think it's like one of the most cutest streets here in Zagreb. And it's lined with little shops and restaurants and cafes. It's Sunday, so I have to see what's open, but it is definitely worth coming down to check out this street. Yeah, look at it just here. Like, it looks very traditional. Some I think beautiful... this is where you can get like a lot of different foods as well. Like Croatian, Mediterranean, and Indian, and all that is all on this street. Yeah, look how cute this little shop is. It's got the buildings behind it, so it's quite a raised part of the town. Only a couple of stores. Mostly a fresh face. food, fresh food market. It's like fruits, cheeses, and like sausages and ham and stuff. I'm sure on summer this will be a very beautiful market to explore. Like half the tables are not here. <laughs> Heading towards the church. Go to this little like tunnel. So we're currently in the lower town and we don't want to get up to the upper town and we have found, I think they say it's one of the shortest funiculars in the world. Or so we're not walking the 10 steps up, we're taking the train. I think you can probably put it next to that clock tower in Prague is probably one of the most disappointing <laughs> attractions in um, Europe. If you haven't even ridden it yet, you might love it. <laughs> Should we get the express ticket? Oh this is so funny. <laughs> you can literally just see. <laughs> this is like the lazy man. They say that like in the 1800s. The, yeah, 1800s they built this just so that people didn't have to walk up the steps to get to the upper town. Guys, I've walked up worse <laughs> steps in the Paris underground than that. Uh, why are you guys walking? Obviously, there's a funner way to get up. Here we go. Grand total of 30 seconds to get up there and a dollar. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome to the upper town of Zagreb. It seems they have like a promenade where you can walk along, which I'm sure is very pretty in the summertime. Also in winter, they got like some chandeliers at night probably light up. But the view from the promenade is quite good. I'll show you guys when we come past these trees. Sorry, I can't show you the orange roofs that Croatia is known for. But yeah, this is the view just here of the city. It's really beautiful up here. What are you doing? What are you doing? No! <laughs> oh yeah, I can literally see your layers from the back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were overhearing a tour as we were walking past and apparently at 12 o'clock a cannon goes off. I don't know where from. It's currently 11.59 so we're just waiting to Somebody's see if we just... hear the cannon. 30 seconds. Cannon better fire. Hey churches. Well. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my god! I did not expect it to be like that! <laughs> I feel like a good reaction! Oh my god! That scared me so much! <laughs> Guys, we just come to St. Mary's Church. We'll go closer for you. But this building looks so cool because look at the roof. It almost looks like a tapestry. Also, how cool is this old school Mercedes just here? Perfectly parked in front of the church. It's actually tiles, but seriously, from back there, it looks like tapestry. This is such a cool church. I want to take a Polaroid in front of it. And even the like streets around it are very beautiful. I think this is probably the most beautiful part of Zagreb, what we've seen so far. Yeah, this cool looking church is called St. Mark's Church.
Okay guys, officially need to warm up, like my nose is gone, my fingers are gone. Come to the proest of cafes, Pro Cafe. The sequel, I think it's number two. <laughs> oh, very fancy. Bubby, this is the most extra chair we are sitting on. I know, and I got a really extra drink. What is that? White like hot chocolate. Oh, it's a white hot chocolate. I know, it's in the winter, like all I feel like is hot chocolate. I always feel like coffees. Oh my gosh, it's even zebra print. That is just like... Everything. Like that's a request for the Sweet 16 show. Oh my gosh, this is great. Wow. Okay guys, so you need to come here and try a white hot chocolate. It is so good. No! Good morning everybody, welcome back to Zagreb. Yep, you probably were like, you went out during the day and then what just happened? the next day, what happened? I think the cold got to us and we just crashed, but... I had a migraine. To be honest, we saw a lot of Zagreb. Like, we pretty much saw everything, so you didn't... why we actually came to Zagreb. So we actually weren't going to go to Zagreb. We were going to go straight from Slovenia into Budapest, but we saw Zagreb was on the way. So I'm like, let's go there for a day, use it as like a chill out, get some work done. Halfway point. Halfway point. And now today we're going to Budapest. Cue my heart in Buda, Buda, Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest. <laughs> Always wanted to go to Hungary, so we're going to be spending the end of our trip there, so I'm really excited to go there. Um, I think just with the trains, it was easier to have like a halfway point. We have explored a lot of Croatia. Yeah. Croatia is very beautiful on the coast. Uh, Zagreb's an interesting city if you guys need to like fly in and pop it's in. It's definitely like a 24-hour city. Definitely you can see it all in a day. Like, literally, we saw it all in the morning. <laughs> so we just arrived at the station and just working out what we are doing. So we're going Zagreb to Budapest, and the first one today leaves at 9.50. It's currently 9.30. Platform. So we have to go to platform two. Catching our last train. It's always sad because you know it's like the kind to the end of the trip. The Budapest. I've always wanted to go here. It's kind of cool because then you get a little memento to keep at the end of your trip. So we've got the Harry Potter cabins again. Hopefully we get this to ourselves for the entire six hours. That would be <laughs> so nice. I hope so. My house in Budapest, my hidden treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beautiful castle. of a land I have achieved it may be hard for you to stop and believe but for you alrighty guys we have just made it to Hungary so I think we've got like three hours to go now but we have currently been obsessed I've we've never done this since this trip but we love pretzels with hummus it started in Austria and now we can't get enough so um this is our little snack while we were on the train. Next time we see you, we'll be in my house in Budapest. Alrighty guys, we are packing up because in 10 minutes time, we're gonna arrive at Budapest station and there is no snow here. But we did check the weather and it says it's still gonna be in the negatives, like negative six and stuff. So I feel like there's like a cold snap right now in Europe. We're just walking to our hotel and we keep running into these amazing buildings. This is cool. I think we're near here though. Oh, yes. Guys, we just checked in. We're at the Hilton here in Budapest and I think, by well, here's the room, but I think this here is the best view we have ever had from a hotel ever. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys tomorrow morning because you can't really tell in this Zoom. lens. Like you can see, oh, I don't know much about Budapest, gosh. but I assume that's a palace you of some sort. You see everything. Like there's literally a little castle here. People are paying to see this view and it is from our hotel room right now. Oh man, I have to show you guys in the morning. It is absolutely epic. Alrighty guys, we, <laughs> we are going out for a little date, dinner date. So we're both feeling like Italian. So we're gonna look for an Italiano restaurante. You look handsome. No, I don't. <laughs> Not in this wind. We don't normally go out for dinner because usually we work at nights. So this is like a special evening. We have found like a Jamie Oliver's and we've never been to one before. We're being super like, you know, cultural, going out to a nice... Oh, that starts tomorrow. Hungarian spot. Good old Jamie's. This looks like local Hungarian food. <laughs> Not made by a British guy. <laughs> found a new way to like try the local drinks. Instead of trying the local beer, we're going to try the local cider. It's called... Just Zyder. <laughs> cheers, Bob. Oh, Date night. Mm, it's like an apple. Yeah, apple that's cider. nice. Oh, I've gone for like a seafood dish. Oh, 
Oh, that looks good. Bobby, our dessert came with like a little advertisement. <laughs> Why do I feel like the word cake sums up our entire Europe? I know. Oh, sorry for making anyone hungry right now. Hungry and hungry. Guys, we've just come back to our room. We found out that's the government building. The Parliament House. The Parliament House. <clears throat> it's like, massive. And then there's the little castle just next to us. It kind of looks like Hogwarts, to be honest. That is our night view from our hotel room. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We have a full day exploring Budapest tomorrow before we head off back to Perth. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. Excited to show you around Hungary. See you guys. A little on the hillside. A little on the hillside.